What is up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to spend the next 24 hours eating only two good to go mystery food bags. We filmed this video a few months ago and you guys seemed to really like it and we had a lot of fun filming it so we thought we'd do it again. We're going to go out for breakfast, lunch and dinner. I'm going to buy three bags each. These two bags minimum, I'd say. Mm -hmm. We'll see how hungry we get. So yeah, let's go grab breakfast. Let's go. Got it. Got it. <laughs> it's a big one. It's a big one. <laughs> so that was successful. <laughs> yeah, uh, we had a bit of a disaster with the bags. They're all ripped to shreds because it was raining on the way back. Uh, but let's show you what we got. So this one is yours. Yeah, Gazzy's. so this is the one I got from the Clarendon Hotel in... in Clarendon? In... Wasn't that Clayton? Oh, sorry, it was Clayton, wasn't it? <laughs> uh, so this is the one I got from the Clayton Hotel uh, in Manchester. Um, so it looks like we've got... Oh, a bit yeah. greasy. Looks like we've got a full English breakfast. Ooh, ooh. Uh, we got black pudding, hash browns, omelette, tomatoes, mushrooms. Can't see what's at the bottom, but there's baked beans as well. You said hash brown? Yeah, hash browns. I think there's sausages and bacon in the bottom as well. Is there? Uh, we're probably going to warm it up as well, so I might plate it up on an actual plate. But this that looks, smells good. But it looks and smells really good. Also got this. Uh, Rachel's Organic Luscious Vanilla Yogurt, so that'd be nice. And then I got the Morrison's Market Kitchen Bag. So this one's a little bit different to Gaz's uh, Hotel Breakfast. Ooh. Oh my God, this is massive. I've got a breakfast wrap, was 4 50 now £2.25. And bear in mind, this whole thing was 2 50 Oh my God, that's heavy. Mmm, that's, be that's bigger than mine already. <laughs> well, I've, I've got I know, you've got something else. You've well. got a box as well. Full English was £6, now 3 Wow, so you've got a full breakfast and a breakfast wrap. <laughs> <laughs> you got I'm, yogurt. I'm starting to oh. think. No, that's not. I oh. mean, it's so good. But I don't think, like, that's not hmm. a full breakfast, that. I definitely don't know who's paying £6 for that. I think maybe that Simon's just on the box. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, it's good, I mean, for the amount of meat that you get. And then the wrap... Oh, my God, that's oh, wow. massive. The size of that. Yeah. Just a quick overview of how much food is actually in these boxes. So we're back, and it's all been warmed up. Look at the amount of food that we have got now. We've both got a full English breakfast, basically. Karis has got a vegetarian one and I've got a meat. And then if I have the yogurt, yeah. you can have the wrap. And so. I have... This is, these are like two breakfasts. This is crazy. So I've no, got... like four, sorry. Yeah. Two breakfasts per person. Yeah, so I've basically got a full English breakfast and a full breakfast wrap as well. Okay, sausage first. Solid sausage. <laughs> Talking of solid, look at this egg, it's rock hard. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> look. <laughs> it's... Might have been because of the microwave. Part. Yeah. Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> that's Good. a really weird egg. Let us know if you like black pudding. I know a lot of people don't, but I think it's really nice. I'm just comparing the mushrooms now. Ooh, they're both nice. One's button and then the other one's like large mushrooms which have been sliced. Mm. Oh, I've not got a favourite. Both are nice. Both of our seasoned. Ooh, what? Which back are those ones from? Those hash browns were really good. I only had one, so that would um, be from the hotel. That hotel hash brown is good. I'm going to try the uh, breakfast wrap. I don't think I'm going to be able to eat all of this, but I want to take a bite just to show you guys. Oh wow! Oh my god! That is stuff. So you got bacon, sausage. Is that a hash brown? Yeah, as that's well? a hash brown. Beans. Yeah, I think that's it. I think that's it. Wow, <laughs> <laughs> that looks really good. Okay, <laughs> mm. let's get a bacony. Oh. Mmm. Mmm. I think there's something else here as well. Not too sure. No, no, that's the hash brown. Wow, that no, is really nice. I have a sausage bite as well. Is the meat good quality meat or is it like, mm. does it taste okay that it's been reheated? 
Yeah, it's spot on. It's like perfect temperature. Air fryer coming in clutch. So for Morrison's Mac Kitchen, I think I'll give it a 4.3 out of 5. Oh. Just because of the value. Tasted really good. I bought breakfasts from a restaurant, following the from restaurants, which weren't as nice, you know, weren't as good as this. And then for the Clayton Hotel breakfast, I will give that a four out of five. Um, really tasty food, um, at a decent portion size, um, and then, but just not quite as, as good as portion size as the Morrison's one. So I'd okay. only give it slightly less, but still a really high score because the taste was spot on. I'd probably rate them both really close. I think I'd give the Market Street one Four and a half out of five, just because she gets so much. And then the Clayton, I would probably give it 4.3, because she's got the yogurt as well, so it is yeah. still good value. It is really good value. Time to get back number two. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we are back for lunch, and for lunch we got a... Bagel Factory. Bagel Factory. I was just going to say as well, so with Too Good For Go, <laughs> too good to go. We, I'm, I'm hungry. With too good to, one thing with too good to go is obviously your meals are pushed back because it's kind of the leftovers of what would have been breakfast, lunchtime, dinner. So we had the first bag at eleven o'clock, and then we've just picked this one up now at half three. So it's four o'clock now. So yeah, when we're saying like lunch, it actually is our lunch. But it's weird because obviously all the times are pushed back. So I got the meat version and then Kerry Scott the, the veggie vegetarian version. One. So let's have a look what's inside. They're heavy bags. Oh. Mm. oh I think I've got a muffin. Oh my god. We've got three bagels. I've got three. Oh my god. What's that? Is it like a Christmas bagel? Oh my god. It's like a wrap of three. Oh wait, bagels. I got one. Is it like a Christmas bagel? It's a green and red and white bagel. Oh. oh my God, maybe it's a Christmas one. And then, we've got an and then I've got another bagel. Oh yeah. yeah, this is a big one. So it looks like, so it looks like we've got two bagels which are probably filled. So we've got two bagels which are probably filled and then three, well, plain bagels. Oh, do you not think they've got any filling in? No, no, I think these are just plain ones. So it looks like a raisin one, a poppy seed one, and then some sort of, Christmas one. Christmassy, like, dyed one. So what's in that one? Because I've got a I haven't actually looked muffin. out. Oh, is it? Oh, is it? Oh. Oh, sorry. So, no. So you get one filled bagel, you get one muffin. Oh, can I swap? Do you like <laughs> <laughs> you like blueberry bagels, don't yeah, you? Yeah, blueberry muffins, Or whatever. Yeah. yeah, blueberry muffins and chocolate. <laughs> All we can share. Oh. Mine looks like... Oh, yours looks like balsamic onion. Turkey, bacon, cheese and... Caramelised onions, yeah. I think. Looks pretty good. And then I think mine is just spinach, halloumi, tomato, and then salad cream? Salad cream? May mayonnaise? Maybe mayonnaise. Maybe. Mm, that smells Does nice. Look nice. That's like full fat mayonnaise. Gaz makes us get the light one at home, so that's <laughs> a treat. <laughs> I'm really intrigued by this green one. Ooh, oh, it's fresh. It's so, fresh. Yeah, so that one's a. What's that? Raisin. Yeah. The raisins. Ooh, cinnamon. Oh, that'd be nice for breakfast. Cinnamon raisins. And then What's this, this one? one is literally like a Christmas tree. <laughs> oh my God, that's so weird. <laughs> well, it doesn't even smell that nice. I think it's just like white bread, that. Yeah, it's just like a white bagel. And then, yeah, poppy seed. And a poppy seed. And then, yeah, really, really fresh, these. Well, no, that's the thing, they're fresh. Um, but, you know, what we can do is we can like freeze them as well if we, yeah. we want to keep them a bit longer. But yeah, that's really, that's really interesting. I know, I can't believe that these. I kind of want to warm mine up, just quickly. Go on. Hopefully you guys can hear us and <laughs> we're going to be louder than the air fryer. Yeah, let's try our muffin, shall we? Yeah. Yeah? This smells really good. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers, Cheers our muffins. Yeah, just like a muffin. Mm. No pain. That's a nice muffin, because mm. it's moist. Mm. Let's get a bit of yours without them. Oh, this has got white chocolate in it. Mm. <laughs> oh my God, you ate the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> I prefer that one. Yeah, we're good. Let's tuck in, girl. Cheers. Bing! Bing. Mm. Oh my 
mine's really nice. It's really fresh. Mm. We have had this before and we paid about four or five pound just for one bagel. And we didn't get much filling. Um, so we never really went there again. But I definitely recommend it if you can get it on too good to go. <laughs> I found the Christmas ones online and the cross section of them is just insane. Mine looks like I've got like the Christmas filling, look. Yeah, it does, yeah. Without the... The Christmas bun. Turkey pastrami, bacon, cheddar and caramelised onions. Oh, and it's supposed to be 5 99 wow. I'd give mine a 4.8. Oh, wow, 4.8. Yeah, because I'm really chuffed, like, all of those. Mm. Do you know what would have been nice? A little pot of cream cheese, because I bet you they've got a lot of cream cheese that goes off. Mm. So that would have been good. And I was happy with this really good filling and this really good filling. However, I don't think the chocolate one was as good. Mm. So if I had the chocolate one, I'd probably knock a few decimals off. I would give it a 4. Just Again, a flat four. Yeah. Just because what we've got right now, like if you're just going off based off what you can eat right now with what you got given, it's only really the bagel and the and the muffin. So this is mine from China Buffet. So the Chinese buffet. And it is a heavy box. So Let's take it home and see what's inside. Ooh. Right, we just here to grab the third bag, Mr. Sue's dumplings. I hope we get some noodles and dumplings. So it looks like it's only one thing, but maybe it's an expensive thing. Yeah, it smells nice. It looks so, like noodles and dumplings. Mm, looks like it. Yeah, it smells nice. So we'll see what it is when we get back. These should be interesting. So mine is actually worth £16, which we had a look and that's the entry price of the buffet. And this costs £5.60. Mm. And Gaz's was worth £13. Mm -hmm. And you paid... £4.29. So these are the most expensive ones we bought today. Someone smells really good. It's just me. <laughs> it's someone. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Ooh. Gaz, look at mine. Oh my god, yours is filled to the brim. Oh my god. There's prawns in there. Oh my god, there's loads. <laughs> so it looks like I've got some dumplings. I want to say that's pak choy. Yeah, got... some pak choy, some noodles. What's what's the meat? I think this is either pork or possibly duck. It smells like duck. And then we've also got some noodles. So this is a dry, so it's not a noodle soup. It looks like it is just noodles. Looks like a teriyaki sauce, maybe. Guys, you're not gonna believe how much was in that little Chinese box. So this is what I'm gonna eat. I've got some rice, vermicelli noodles, onion, peppers, some spring rolls, a crab stick or a seafood stick, some samosas, a prawn and a piece of prawn toast. But, that is not it. Look at all this meat. This is all extra meat, obviously, that I think Gaz is just gonna have another day or either yeah. now if he fancies it. Look at this. That is so much food, like it literally fills another container. Wish I had some curry sauce to go with it, mm. but that's fine. I'm using some McDonald's garlic chili sauce we got from one of our holidays. <laughs> <laughs> from Singapore, I think. Was it? Yeah. Right, try one of these dumplings, see what's inside. Mm. Pork. Definitely pork. pork. Pork dumpling. Get a good noodle shot. Ooh. Oh, wow, it's steamed up. Let's try the noodles. Mmm. Ooh, it's a little bit spicy. Oh, really? Is it mm. not like teriyaki sauce? No, it's not. Mm. I'm not too sure that is, actually. Nice, though. Spicy. A little bit spicy. Maybe Szechuan or something like that? Maybe. I mean, that is a dark sauce, isn't it? Mm. I think it's like, yeah. I think this is just chicken. Really good, though. Really tasty. Tender. Tender still, considering. It's going to be heating. Mm. I'm liking this. Another very solid meal for me, I think. Oh, good. I think this might be my favourite of the day. Sorry, don't mind me. I'll just be sat here for about 10 minutes. <laughs> de a prawn. 
Mm. Mm. Oh shit. That's a nice prawn. I've not had um, egg fried rice in so long and I mm. forgot how good egg fried rice it is because mm. we usually get boiled. Mm. And so far, everything else is really nice as well. You know, I'm not expecting like the most amazing spring rolls or anything. Mm. Um, yeah, they taste perfect, like reheated. They don't taste mm. soggy, anything like that. Like nothing's like, oh, this is the best version I've ever tasted. But it's all like, oh, this is nice. I want more. And that's the good thing. Like there's so much. Mm. And then we're going to go lastly for this uh, like seafood stick. And uh, maybe I should try to do a little crunch action with my new microphone. There was no crunch. <laughs> I think we have a high score of the day of 4.8. Oh, that is a high score. Yeah, I don't think I could have asked for much more from this meal. I mean, as far as the Chinese buffet goes, I don't know what more I could have wanted. So again, I think I would give this one a 4.8 as well. Ooh. I don't know why I'm knocking off two <coughs> points. Maybe I can't review the meat, so. Yeah. Plus you, if you if I had a bit more curry sauce, maybe. Oh, oh yeah, the curry sauce, that, that's where yeah. the 0.2 has gone. So uh, for my spend, uh, for breakfast at the Clayton Hotel, buffet breakfast, I paid £3.50. Uh, for Bagel Factory, for my surprise bag, I paid £4.10. And then for Mr. Sue's dumplings and noodles, that was £4.39. In total, that is £11.99 spent for the day. So that is for breakfast, lunch and dinner. And then for me, starting from the beginning, £2.50 on the Market Street, um, the Morrison's food. Then £4.10 for my vegetarian bagel meal. And then £5.59 for this. So that brings me up to a total of £12.19. So approximately four pound a meal. So in total for the both of us, we spent 24 pounds and 18 pence. And the total value of all these meals was 73 pounds 69. So we've basically paid a third, uh, two thirds yeah. less than, than what, what it's supposed to. And I think you'll find that as the typical value on Too Good To Go. It's about, if you times the, the amount you're paying by three, uh, you'll get the, the value of yeah. what you get. We've got a whole wrap still. We've got meat. <laughs> we've got all this meat. We've got three. We've got six bagels sitting on the counter. Yeah, still. That's a lot of food. Yeah. And to think a meal deal cost like three pound eighty nowadays. Yeah, it's a Tesco really meal. Yeah, a Tesco meal deal is like three pound fifty. If you're buying a Costa coffee in the morning on the way to work or, your, or on your lunch break, that's five pounds alone. You should be a salesperson. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know. So I mean, the value is. Is ridiculous really. yeah yeah you know as long as you're open-minded so if you have enjoyed this video please do give it a big thumbs up and leave us a comment letting us know which one of these meals was your favorite which one you thought was the best value and also if you've ever tried too good to go and what you've got on there mm -hmm. i love hearing everyone else's experiences with the app but that is it guys <laughs> we're gonna eat our food yeah Probably needs to go back in the microwave. <laughs> <laughs> but if you did enjoy this video, please make sure you turn on that, that notification bell for more content just like this and make sure to subscribe as well so you never miss any of the uploads. And if you haven't seen part one yet, yeah. please make sure to see the link in the description below uh, and watch that one as well. But thank you very much for watching guys and we'll catch you in the next one. See ya. See ya. <laughs>